folks. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Yeah, the camera paused. This is day four of dark steam showing up there at Old Faithful Yellowstone Super Volcano. There was some buffalo earlier that they were showing. Bison, actually, they were showing. I want to show you an image of that. They were, um, this one bison was grazing um, on the grass. They're on the, uh, oh, probably the south side of the Firehole River. The Firehole River here has a natural dam under the ground of lava, magma, that has hardened, which prevents the uh, magma uh, to come from the Mallard Lake Resurgent Dome. Yellowstone's got two resurgent domes. This is one. This is the Mallard Lake Resurgent Dome. So it, it comes into the system. It pushes up on the ground. has been slowly killing off the trees. I'll bring it over here. You can see the one side of the area where the trees have died. But this dam of magma that is hardened down here by the Firehole River prevents the magma from easily passing through this area to um, the south side. I guess it would be the south side of the Firehole River. The magnitude 7.0 earthquake that occurred off uh, Petrolia, California, shook up the caldera. Let me go to uh, the uh, seismic monitors. There's one, which is uh, the borehole for the Madison River area. And then this one here is for Denny Creek. And then West Thumb, or, or as I call it, Little West Thumb, right there. Going back to the spectrogram, let me go here. It looks like the most activity that it shook up was here at West Thumb. You can see how the heat really came up in this location the most. And we got the hot gases and the hot water that came up. And it really shook for quite a while. Um, it only recently probably started to uh, settle down within, oh, the last hour an hour and a half let me go through this and and show you we'll look at the uh, seismic signature if i can oops all right now to make that bigger okay right there yeah you can see here this is all pointed tops which means it is fault movement because of the rising magma into the system okay we'll go back over here and take a look at this. Here at the beginning of the quake, as it came into Yellowstone, yeah, it made the magma rise up a lot of rounded tops. And then it settled down. I'll have to make that bigger too, where it changed into fault movement. So we had the magma coming into the system, rising up. And then the pressure on the crust of the earth uh, created fault movement. USGS is reporting 12 earthquakes within the last uh, 24 hours for the Yellowstone area. The most recent, um, a magnitude 0 0.4, 6.7 miles in depth, uh, there by Hedgen Lake. We do have this earthquake right here at 2137 Universal Time. It's not being reported. So that would be at 3... 37 p.m. and the largest signature looks like it comes from West Thumb. That comes in as a magnitude 1.62 and there's been and there's been other ones you can see we got a small one here. Let's take a look. This one too um, is not being reported. It came in before the 7.0. We'll take a look at the spectrogram. And that probably came in um, as a magnitude 1.35. Then there was another one before that, right there. This one comes in as a magnitude 1.81. Here at the borehole for the Madison River, once again, there's that earthquake, that 7.0. You can see the heat came up, but not as much heat as what occurred there at 
uh, West Thumb. And then we got two earthquakes there. That one I already reported to you. And the other one just shortly before that. We'll look at the seismic signature. And I'll make that bigger. Yeah, fault movement for that one. And then more fault movement for that one. Yeah. Um, Yellowstone um, is gearing up for another eruption. Who knows when it's going to happen. Uh, and I talked about all the popping that's going on there at Yellowstone. You can see all the little seismic signatures. Many of these are in red um, that the computer did pick up saying that hey you guys wake up i'm going to send you a message you got some earthquakes going on being a borehole it only picks up the earthquakes that happen under the ground and for those of you that might be new this square right here this is where they're adjusting the digital monitors the seismometers i don't know why they're doing it so much lately but it seems like every day they're doing that with one or another different monitor readjusting you know how it reads the earthquakes right now they're currently looking at old faithful and you can see the steam coming up there too um yeah it's dirty also when it's dirty like that it means that the rock under the ground has been heated to the point where yeah it's melting it's dissolving so those little particles are coming up with the steam yeah not a good sign this is day four that it's been showing an increased heat uh, rising up. And in the back here, that once again is the Mallard Lake Resurgent Dome. Looks like they're zooming in a little bit, but don't it look brown? Yeah, not good sign. It's supposed to be white, but it's looking brown. This here is the last earthquake that they are reporting at 1642 and 30 seconds universal time so that would be at 10:42 a.m local time looks like denny creek is the best signature we know that usgs often downgrades them but it's not a 0 0.4 it's a 1.33 we'll go back to the signature and we'll extract that yeah more fault movement oh good timing old faithful starting to go off it doesn't look like it's very large, does it? No, that's small. Let me bring this up a little bit so you can see how tall it's rising. Not very tall at all. I don't know if they'll move the camera or not. But notice what I was saying about the steam and the particles, how, di how dark that is. Yeah, good timing. Oh, and the camera stopped working. You know, we got all the money to, move, to uh, send to Africa. What, a billion dollars? And we got all the money to send to um, Ukraine. Um, $7.2 million. But nothing for the people here in the United States. None whatsoever. Yep, people are still living in tents. And they're saying that the shelters that um, was made for them by um, um, the Amish. Was it the Amish? I can't remember. Um, that they're not acceptable and they can't live in them. Terrible, just terrible. And they can't even keep the camera going half the time. But anyways, um, yeah, if Yellowstone ever does have a major eruption, it's going to be a global change for the entire Earth. The entire Earth. Um, yeah, crops would fail. It would disrupt transportation of goods. We wouldn't have anything growing here in the United States to... Uh, send to other countries yeah it would be devastating worldwide um during the time when the ash uh, would be circulating the world um yeah it would disrupt um those flights cancel the flights and cool off the earth dramatically where things wouldn't grow so that's what i have for you right now if you have any thoughts or comments a lot of people were wondering if that earthquake there off the coast of California shook up the caldera well now you know it did so we just have to keep an eye on this um, what are your thoughts are you prepared for a disaster 
Yeah, the roads were all jammed there in California when they initially had their tsunami alert. Um, yeah, they were packed. And luckily within, oh, probably about an hour, they canceled that tsunami alert. They had um, everyone evacuating a mile inland. Yeah. So thank you for watching. If you wish to support my work, I'm also on Patreon. You can watch my videos there for free. Um, if you don't want to watch here on YouTube, there is a lot of censoring on YouTube. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.